This is a demonstration on how to use the Waves SSL G Channel Strip and G Master Bus Compressor to mix a multi-track drum recording. These plugins come as part of the Waves SSL 4000 bundle. P they are PC and Mac platform compatible. They support TDM, RTAS, Audio Suite, VST, and AU plugin formats. There's a mono and stereo version of the plugin that's included. You can use these on sessions up to 96 kilohertz and up to a 24-bit depth. Now let me get to my session. Here you'll see I have seven tracks of recorded audio from microphones. I have a kick in mic, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, stereo pair of overheads, stereo pair of rooms, and I have an audio track here, a stereo track of printed reverb from an outboard reverb unit. On each of the audio tracks, I went ahead and inserted the SSL G channel that I'm going to be using here in the first insert slot. And I have some special routing going on because I'm going to be doing parallel compression on my drum mix. So I have a clean auxiliary bus here that the outputs from these audio tracks are going into. And I'm going to be um, just doing almost no compression on this channel. But then in my uh, other auxiliary channel, I have compression over here. I'm going to be doing a lot of compression. I'm going to run these two in parallel, kind of mix them together to find the balance of what I like. Then these are both going into my drum bus, auxiliary bus going on over here. And I'm going to be using the SSL compressor just to add a slight bit of uh, limiting to make sure that I'm not clipping the combined signal. Let me play you back the audio so you can hear how it sounds without any processing. So on their own without any processing, the drums sound pretty good, but they are going to need a little bit of work if they're going to sit in a mix. So let me go through each of the instruments and show you briefly what I'm doing um, to kind of tighten up the drum sound and also give you an idea about the features of the plugins. So with the SSL G channel, there's an EQ section and a dynamic section. You can change the internal routing so you can put the EQ before the dynamics or the dynamics before the EQ. How I've got it set up is I have these filters first. Um, as the first thing that happens when the audio enters the plugin, there's a high pass filter and a low pass filter. What I'm doing is just rolling off a little bit of the low end to tighten up and in case there's uh, just some low rumble going on in my signal. Taking off a little bit of the high end because I don't really need it for a kick drum. In the dynamic section, that's what happens next here is there's a SSL style compressor, SSL style gate or expander. Basic controls you have for the compressor, the ratio, threshold, release, and then you have, uh, you can switch between fast attack and fast release. For my kick drum, I just have, you know, three to four dB of uh, gain reduction. Medium release time, I'm gonna be setting the threshold to find that I can just get, you know, a couple of dB, dB of gain reduction. I have, a slow attack because what I want to have happen is the the transient of the signal to pass without being compressed and then the tail of the signal to be um, compressed a lot and that what that's going to do is emphasize the transient make the drums a little bit uh, more punchy with my expander that I've got going on I'm trying to do the same uh, similar sort of thing so you have a range to control how much expansion is going on you have a release to um, control you know, after the signal drops below it, um, the threshold, how much is going, when it's going to um, start doing uh, gain reduction. I'm using a fast attack because what I want to have happen as soon as the, um, the, the drum hit goes above the threshold, then I want the signal to pass through the gate or the expander. I'm setting the threshold so that it really tightens up my, uh, my drum hit, really emphasizes the attack or the transient of the hit to make it a little bit more punchy. Um, then as far as EQ goes, that's the final section, is there's a, a low shelf and a high shelf, and there's two bell-shaped um, portions of the EQ for a low mid and high mid. You can select the frequency here, how much you're going to boost or cut, and then uh, the Q of the bell. So let me play you back the kick drum, and you can hear what I'm doing. So it sounds a little boxy or pillowy. Sounds very tight now because I'm using the dynamics to, uh, section to really emphasize the attack. Boosting a little bit of the low end, cutting out around uh, 3K where it sounds kind of boxy. Boosting around uh, 2K to give it that snap. 
boosting then about 5k to give it that click or that um, high end air doing a similar sort of thing with the kick out mic and similar sort of thing with the snare really tightening things up taking out some of the ring uh, in the direct, in the close mics, but then the overheads, um, I'm still gonna keep a lot of that ring. Boosting now around two to three hundred hertz because that's where the fundamental frequency of the snare drum is. Let me move on to overheads now. Doing much less compression, have a lower ratio going on here. Uh, rolling off a lot of the low end, as you can see, and I found some frequencies that I didn't like with a hot, uh, sharp Q around eight hundred maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred some frequencies I didn't like adding a little bit of top end to sharpen up the the sound of the signal move on to the uh, room mics with the room mics what I'm trying to do is squash them so I've got a fast release and a pretty high ratio get a lot of gain reduction um, I'm not using the expander here roll off again the low end like I did with the overheads. Found some frequencies I didn't really like. With a sharp cue, take them out. And give it a little top end. With the reverb, I don't have any processing going on. Um, I basically have all the EQ set flat and no dynamics. Next, let's get to the bus compressor. The bus compressor has some similar sort of controls for the compression. You have threshold, you have a makeup gain if you want to use it. Um, if you're doing a lot of uh, compression, it kind of takes the, the energy out of the signal and you just want to add it back in. You have attack, release controls. You can select your ratio here and then if you want to do a fade out or fade in, uh, you can do that with the, uh, this controls the timing of it. Um, so what I'm doing here with the clean portion of the um, I have the, the compressor set up. I have it set up so basically there's no gain reduction going on. So I'm really slow attack, pretty fast release. Um, so I can minimize the um, gain reduction going on. Then for my comp uh, compression, one I've got, you'll see a high amount of gain reduction. This is what it sounds like. I'm using some makeup gain. Pretty fast attack pretty fast release with a ratio of 4 to 1. You can see a fair amount of gain reduction. That's why I'm adding it back in. It's really squashing the drums. And then for the last one I've got the SSL uh, channel strip. I'm using as a kind of a limiter. Kick it back on. So I've got the 10 to 1 ratio, fast attack, fast release, Threshold pretty high just to make sure there, there's no clipping at the output. Just see minor gain reduction throughout the thing. I'll bypass all of them and add them back in. 